story time friends it's miss ollie and it's time for a very special valentine's day story time yay valentine's day is coming up so it's time to make hearts and cards and show people how much they mean to us and how much we love them so you know you don't have to wait for valentine's day to tell someone that you love them either you should say it when you feel it, right? Okay, let's get into our story time. Are you ready? Here we go. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. For your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Very good. All right, let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp. Hooray! Very good. All right. Let's sing our ABCs. Are you ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? me. Very good. All right, let's get our wiggles out. Oh, looking a little crazy today. All right, wiggle worms, here we go. I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my nose. Now the wiggles are out of me and I'm just as still as I am. Can be. All right, friends. Last time we talked about love and we talked about loving ourselves too, just as important as loving other people, loving yourself. So we'll do it again. We'll do our calming breaths, okay, as an expression of self care, self love. All right, we'll do five breaths. We're going to breathe in deep from our nose and breathe out our mouths, okay? We'll hold our breaths just a tiny bit in between, with your eyes open or closed, whatever you like. All right, I'll count as we go. Here we go with breath number one. Big breath in. Hold it and let it out. Good. Breath number two, big breath in. Hold it and let it out. Good. All right. Breath number three. Big breath in. Hold it and let it out. Good job. All right. Breath number four. Big breath in. Hold it and let it out. Breath number five, big breath in, 
hold it and let it out. Very good. All right, friends, we have a few Valentine's stories to read today and one about love. Let's read first Clifford's First Valentine's Day by Norman Bridwell. Oh, Clifford. Before Clifford grew up, he was a very small puppy. I'll never forget his first Valentine's Day. It all started a few days before the holiday. I was making Valentine's for Mommy, Daddy, Grandma, and Grandpa. Clifford wanted to help. I gave him some paper. He had his own way of cutting out the hearts. He's doing it with his mouth. What a mess! After I had cleaned up my little red puppy, we finished the Valentines. Clifford liked the special card I made for Grandma. I wanted to mail it right away. We got it ready, or we got ready to take the card to the post office. It was cold outside, but I made sure Clifford stayed nice and warm. Wow, that was when Clifford was little. He can fit right in her pocket. When we got to the post office, I pulled down the door to the mail chute. Have you gone to the post office? You know when you put the letters in? Oh, oh, Clifford lost his balance. He disappeared into the dark hole. Look at the horrified expression on their faces. <gasps> and came out in the basement mail room. No. He sank down under a ton of letters in the cart. The postal workers didn't see him. Mommy and I told the postmaster what had happened. He took us to the mail room. He said we could look for our puppy there. How would we ever find Clifford? Look at all those bins. Suddenly we heard a sound. The mail was barking. We dug into the letters as fast as we could. Oh no. Clifford was glad to see us. And we were glad to have him back. Oh, they're having a party in the post office. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, I got a lot of cards. I loved the one Grandma sent. Look at little red Clifford's. But the best Valentine of all was from Clifford. He gives her a kiss. Oh, Clifford. All right, let's read. A Valentine for Uni the Unicorn. An Amy Krauss Rosenthal book, Pictures Based on Art by Bridgette Berger. Uni is a unicorn who has a special swirly horn. It has the power to heal and mend. That is pretty magical. But can it help to make a friend? Uni wants to grant your wishes and to give you uni kisses. <laughs> Flowers, candy, hearts, and sweets. Sparkly baskets filled with treats. Ooh, I like that. <gasps> Double rainbows in the skies. Magic purple butterflies. Yes, please. 
Uni is your dream come true. But uni might need something too. Uni is giving you a sign. What do you think it is? <gasps> Will you be my valentine? I love it. Thanks, uni. Okay, I think, oh, excuse me, my nose tickles. I think we should read one more book. And then we can do a Valentine's song and peanut butter and jelly. And then we have another story. Okay. Let's read Consider Love by Sandra Boynton. She's the best. Even her end papers are sweet. Consider Love. <laughs> consider love look here and there consider love it's everywhere consider love observe a while it comes in every shape and style there's simple love and love mysterious frivolous love and love too serious. There's hopeful love and love despairing. Cautious love and love that's daring. There's tiny love and love unbounded logical love and love unfounded <laughs> love that's shallow love that's deep love extravagant love well cheap a banana peel. <laughs> love that is clever. Love perhaps foolish. Doesn't look foolish to me. Love oh so hot. You're over a fire. Love rather cool-ish. Young love, old love, meek love, bold love, eloquent love. Wow, that's a lot. And never told love. Love that's inspiring. Love that is tiring. <laughs> Love overzealous, love over jealous, <laughs> comfortable love, and love problematic, love wistful and weary, love gently ecstatic. Theatrical love that can suffer or smile, make grand declarations, and exit with style. Now consider one love in the midst of the crowd, an affectionate love, neither timid nor loud, a love that appreciates fire and grace. A love that adores one remarkable face. A love that is steady, devoted, and true. Consider my love for incredible you. It's the best. All right. I might even say we 
love Sandra Boyd. <laughs> Let's do our peanut butter and jelly song. <laughs> Here we go. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. First, you take the peanuts and just smash them. Just smash them, smash them, smash them, smash them. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Then you take the grapes and you squish them, squish them, squish them, squish them, squish them. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Then you take the bread and you spread it. Spread it, spread it, spread it, spread it. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut, peanut butter and jelly. Then you take the sandwich and you eat it. You eat it, you eat it, eat it, eat it. Very good. Okay. Let's do this. It's called Counting Valentines, and that's why I have these colorful Valentines up here. So here we go. Valentines, Valentines, how many do I see? Valentines, Valentines, count them with me. I have red ones, orange ones, yellow ones too. I have green ones, purple ones, oh, skip that, and some that are blue. Valentine's, Valentine's, how many do I see? Count them with me. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Did you count six too? All right. Very good. Let's do the colors one more time. Ready? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Very good. All right, friends, we have time for one more story. Valentine's are for saying I love you by Margaret Sutherland, illustrated by Amy Wummer. On Valentine's Day, there is always lots of candy. Lots of heart-shaped candy. I get to take three licks of my lollipop at breakfast. My daddy gives my mommy a big bunch of flowers. What a romantic. At school, we have a party. Everything is so pink and pretty. I give my teacher a special card. The X's and O's are for kisses and hugs. I give cards to everyone in my class because they are my friends. Do you maybe do that in your school? Decorate a little box for your Valentine's? At home, I make a special card for Mommy. It has glitter all over it, even on the back. Oh boy, I think my kids know better than to make me a card with glitter on it. <laughs> the one for Daddy has doilies on it that look just like lace. Fancy. I stick a little doggy biscuit on the card for Arrow. How long does it take him to eat it? About a minute. <laughs> and for my baby brother, I tape a big heart with an arrow on his crib. Oh my. It will be the last thing he sees before going to sleep. Very sweet. 
my grandparents come to visit after dinner and I have cards for them too. My grandma's card smells extra sweet because I sprayed it with perfume. And because my grandpa likes jokes, I made him a funny card. You read the back of it first. Valentine's Day always comes on February 14th, but it is not like other holidays like Christmas or Thanksgiving. It is a day when you show your friends and family how much you love them. Of course, you can do that on any day. But on Valentine's Day, it's extra special. Well, let me tell you, doesn't have to be Valentine's Day to tell someone that you care about them or you're thinking of them. But Regardless, I hope that whatever you do to celebrate Valentine's Day, that you have one that is filled with love and kindness, maybe even a little candy. That's the best part, right? I think last year here at the library, Valentine's Day was our last big holiday party before we had to close up shop and go into COVID lockdown. So for us here, that was our last time we had a whole bunch of kids in for a big holiday party. But I just know, I can feel it, they'll be back again. I'm sure of it. Maybe not right away, but they'll be back eventually, right? So, have a very happy Valentine's Day, whatever you do. And in the meantime, make sure you do all those other things to keep yourself healthy and safe, right? Get plenty of sleep, wear a mask, eat your vegetables, and don't forget to take care of yourself too, right? You have to love yourself before you can share love with others. So on that note, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Happy Valentine's Day.